the ride might get a little bloody. Bring it on. Oh, hey. Didn't see you come in there. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> so you remember I reviewed the classic badass game Blood a long while back? Well, it's time to talk about the sequel Blood 2 The Chosen. Now, this game was developed by Monolith Productions and published by GT Interactive Software. It was released on PC in 1998, and the story basically has it going like this. Over 100 years have passed since the events of the first game. And you remember how good Blood was? Fucking amazing game. Cabal, the cult dedicated to the worship of the dark god Chernobog, has turned into a huge corporation that calls itself Cabalco. Caleb is back and is awakened from his slumber and continues his pursuit for revenge in a futuristic city and looking to track down the Cabal CEO known as Gideon, who will stop at nothing to get the power Cabal had before, so you must stop his ass and fuck over his plans, basically. Also, remember Gabriel from the first game? Yeah, Gabriel is in this game, but is now a woman, so Gabriel is now Gabriella after a sex change. I'm guessing after its resurrection. There is a total of 17 weapons in this game, and some are usable in dual mode. There's also a sex secondary fire, and then there's a knife or melee, pistols, submachine guns, flare guns, shotguns, and more. There are power-ups that will help you with invulnerability, stealth movement, increased firepower, but they're only for a limited amount of time. There are four chapters with numerous levels in them, mostly being around nine or more, except chapter four, it only has three levels, and that's near the end of the game. When it comes to the graphics, sure it isn't bad, but goddamn was this game poorly optimized. Now I'm playing this on my gaming laptop and running the GOG version, and it runs like burnt shits. Of course, there is a way to fix this. You you can download the direct draw and run Blood 2 on a modern system, but holy shit, this shouldn't be an issue. And another thing you can do is download the Voodoo graphics card shit and fuck around with that. Once you get it working correctly, it's not so bad, but it's a pain in the ass overall. Caleb does look good in the game. Enemies are kind of boring looking, depending on which ones though. Gideon looks alright, and at the end of the day, the game doesn't look too bad. It doesn't glitch very much, maybe here and there. I ran into some issues. It does run on the lift tech engine. Could be a lot worse. I mean, at least the gore factor is pretty cool. You can dismember enemies or civilians around. And when it comes to the music, it has a mixture of dark techno and industrial. It's mainly during the main menu, as during gameplay, it's just ambient noises, sound effects, and so on. Is the music any good? It's all right. Nothing mind-blowing. Could be a lot worse. The sound effects from the gunfire and all the other noises are good. The voiceover work of Caleb is well done. Has that dark sense of humor. The civilians can be smart asses. You just blast them in the fucking face. The enemies say the same handful of shit over and over again, and the voiceover work of Gabriel, I mean Gabriella, as well as Gideon are well done. Really nothing to complain about there. When it comes to the controls, it's your typical first person shooter style. WSAD keys to move around, mouse to look around, shoot, use your secondary weapon, or secondary style. One through nine gives you weapons, E to use, and so on. Very simple to understand. They do respond decent enough. You won't have any major issues with them. Maybe a few slight flaws here and there, but in a game like this, it's nothing real major. Probably one of the positives about this game. Let's face it, Blood 2 The Chosen is not blood. It's far from as good as blood. And how they can fuck up a game this bad, it's really fucking sad. Now, there are some positives to this game. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's a first-person shooter. It's pretty easy to understand. It's not a complete shit show, but there are some flaws there. The story is all right. The graphics are not bad. I, I noticed some glitching, cutting out, and, of course, getting it to run. Even the GOG version is a pain in the ass, and you have to do a little bit of configuration shit here and there because if you don't it's going to run anywhere from 20 to 30 frames per second and usually drop down to under 20 in certain spots. The music is alright, could be worse. The voiceover work is a positive side to it, especially hearing Caleb say great one-liners and have that dark sense of humor. The game can be difficult in some aspects, but that depends on what difficulty you choose. The controls are simple to understand and respond well enough to say it's playable. I just think this game could have been a hell of a lot better than it is, which is a very damn shame, and sadly we never got another legit Blood sequel. And that pisses me off. Now, if you want to pick this game up for yourself, it's on Steam and GOG for normally $5.99, but does go on sale quite often. It does include the Nightmare Levels add-on, which I will talk about at a later time. And if you want to play a game that is like Blood, but not officially Blood 3, although the developers did buy the domain name as a joke, go check out Dusk, a game I covered before, and I'm going to do many Let's Plays on, I'm sure, over the years. It's so much fucking better and worthy of playing, unlike Blood 2. Now, will Blood 3 ever happen? If someone gets the rights to it, I know that new Blood Interactive, who are behind Dusk, talked about maybe doing remakes and remasters of classic first-person shooter games, and Blood 3 has been mentioned many times. Of course, they would have to get the goddamn rights to that, and that could be a pain in the ass. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review of Blood 2 The Chosen for PC. Thanks for watching.